Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now today, Friday evening, great week of work, but time to settle down. And I have some really cool, cool blades to show you today. Now, if you are not familiar, what we're going to take a look at is some blades from QSP. Now, QSP, quality, service, and price. I met these guys at SHOT Show 2020. So before I get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at QSP for providing these products for review. And an even greater thanks to David from Blade Banter. Now, David is not only a YouTube and social media host, but also a representative for QSP. Now, he has worked with me along with some of their other representatives to provide these products today. So if you're interested, check out David at Blade Banter on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. But at this point, we're going to be taking a look specifically at the blades from QSP. And I have a whole bunch to talk about. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what we're about to get into, do me a favor. Stay tuned. So again, as I mentioned, today we're going to take a look at some knives from QSP. Again, quality, service, and price. So that's the main thing that when you really think about that from the get-go, they're trying to set the bar for quality. They're trying to set the bar for service and all at an affordable price. And from what I can tell so far, they are doing an extremely, extremely great job with that. So while I was at SHOT Show 2020 with Carlos from Daily Carry Solutions, we took a look at both the folding knives and the fixed blades. And that's exactly what we have here today. We have a number of different offerings from QSP, some folding knives, some fixed blades, and we're gonna get into a little bit of detail on each one of these. Now this video is gonna be a first impressions and a first look at these, but in future videos, we're gonna get into full detail with full featured reviews. But at this point, let's talk about these folding knives. So here, I have basically two of the same model. So as I get into these, these are the Puffin. Now, one of the things that QSP has been doing is kind of naming uh, many of their models after birds. And I'm not sure about animals, but definitely birds. And again, this is the Puffin. So as I look here, again, two of the same model with slightly different details. One is the Puffin QS 127 D1. And this is also the Puffin QS 127A. Now again, both of these being a little bit different, but let's just start, yeah, let's start with the A. So as I get into it here, first impressions, I have not looked at these yet. Opening up the box. This is really my first time looking at the packaging from QSP and popping that open. You'll see here, nice little card. Greetings, thanks for choosing QSP Knife. Hope you will enjoy it. Here are some knife specifications you may concern. Puffin QS127, ball bearing. Seven inches overall length, three inches in blade length, four inches in handle length, a frame lock, a lanyard hole, one inch in total blade height, and CPM S35VN. So very cool. I like that. I think it's neat that they actually provide this card with the knives um, and just a little image of the blade. So getting into it here and pulling it out again, you know, I, I say it a lot on my channel, packaging, eh, does it really matter? Well, in this one regard, I always say that if presentation and packaging looks really good, you know the product has attention to detail. And here, where I see this box, it's very simple, but nice little pull tab, opening it up, that nice sort of pop with the red, the knife nicely displayed, carefully wrapped, and that detail card on the inside. When it comes to quality packaging, that gets me really excited to see the blade. Now again, the QS127A, as I get into it here, this puffin, ooh. So here, a nice black knife, fully blacked out, sort of a anodized uh, slate blue on that spacer in the clip. And just to clarify here, this is a titanium handle with a carbon fiber inlay. 
So very, very nice. Now the one thing about this, you'll see that with the Puffin, there are more than one design. I have a couple of them here, but there's more than just two. And when I say design, I mean really the deployment method, the style of the blade, the overall sort of finish on them. This one here having this cutout. Now what I can tell you is my initial impression of the cutout as I try to get this open, it's tight. So I'm gonna have to practice with this right now. For me, this is gonna be a two-handed opening just for safety, but here you see the Puffin. So again, fully blacked out, really, really nice. You get that cut out there, which I think you could use to ultimately deploy the knife. You'll notice on the pivot here, it is a probably stainless, so just a regular silver stainless. Then on this side, the logo for QSP being a triangle, symbolizing that quality, service, and price. So definitely cool. And this nice frame lock design, carbon fiber inlay, really cool. S35VN, and again here, uh, ball bearing deployment. So very, very nice. Now, one thing that catches me a little bit by surprise is it's not like this is a flipper and you don't have a thumb stud, and it is just a little bit difficult to get in here to deploy. So does it need to be on ball bearings? Eh, hard to say, but it is. Now getting into the grind, does not necessarily seem to be a hollow grind, rather either slightly convex or just a flat grind. So really, really nice. And this is beautiful, nice, lightweight, good size, perfect for EDC. That's pretty awesome. So now let's put aside the 127A model and look at this 127D1. So again, same style, getting into it, opening the box exact same presentation with the card pretty much the same exact specs and pulling this one out now again as i mentioned each model having a slightly different look and feel that's beautiful so just straight titanium uh, gray titanium with that black carbon fiber inlay pulling out the blade now you'll notice this one does not have a cutout this one here just very very straightforward um no flipper uh, no thumb studs. This is a two-hand open knife here. You'll see the detent, so there, boom. Um, very nice, so frame lock design, very, very nice in terms of the quality and the craftsmanship, uh, beautiful. So again, titanium backspacer, that titanium pocket clip, titanium handle, just that classy looking carbon fiber, that same pivot. And again, this blade here being a little different, this looks more just a straight tumbled finish, but very, very nice drop point design and just elegant and clean. So these here are the Puffin. So again, just a couple of different options. There are many others and just a great looking blade overall. I'm excited to give these a good whirl, bring them around and test them in an EDC setting, see how they perform. So, so far so good from QSP, nicely done. So those were the folding options that I have here from QSP. Great first look, but now what about the fixed blades? Fixed blades are definitely my jam, and I am really excited to see what's in store for QSP. All right, so we have three of them here. First, we have the Workaholic, we have the Toucan, and we have the Stash. So let's first look at this Stash. Um, opening this up here, taking a quick look. Okay, so same sort of presentation, only in this case, uh, there's no red on the inside of the box, but you do get the card. So generally speaking, very straightforward here. Now this card says every QSP knife is guaranteed against defects in material and workmanship and has a limited lifetime warranty. The specific conditions, please check on www.qspknife.com. Any questions, please contact feedback at qspknife.com. Better knife, better life. And again, getting into the details here. So here we go, the Stash QS106. This is a four inch overall blade length, 4.875 inch handle. So 8.875 total overall length. It comes with a scraper, two meters of paracord, a flat screwdriver, a bottle opener, and that blade being a 9CR14 MOV with a finger hole and the integrated sheath. Now with the sheath five inches overall, FRN in construction, push button to lock the knife into place, LED flashlight, fire starter, and an alloy sharpener. So this here being not just a knife, 
but rather a system. So pretty cool. I'm interested in checking this out. Let's take a look here, throwing that aside. And here you see the stash. So very cool overall presentation. The FRN fully blacked out. That nice long piece of paracord. Scraper on the end, popping this out. So that's a button to deploy. Pushing that down and there you go, removing the knife. So that is your uh, 9CR14 MOV blade with actually a, kind of like a stonewash finish. That's definitely cool. Here you'll see that's that uh, screwdriver. I could use that to bust some stuff open and crack something if you needed to. And then the sheath, having that sharpener. And here, pulling that out. Okay. So let's see. Twisting this. I wonder if this has a battery in it. Got to take a quick look. And it seems like it, but it may. Yep, there you go. So popping out this little security feature here. Um, getting these back in hopefully in the right direction. Four tiny, tiny, tiny little batteries. Popping these into place. Gasketed little O-ring on there. Oh, boom. There you go. So that's actually pretty cool. I mean, tiny little light, but you know, if you just need a little bit to see, that's going to be nice. And a small little fire rod. So definitely cool. And that fits and nests just perfectly in there. And the good thing is, you can still get on that flashlight and use it even while it's in the sheath. So nice overall. Now, my initial impression is that this is gonna be sweet. I personally like a shoulder carry. So let's see, getting this knife in here. Um, this is maybe a little tricky, but I think I'll figure it out. There you go. Shoulder carry, walking with this on the shoulder of a pack. Boom, you got your light right down where you're walking and it's on this side of the knife, which is nice. This is a pretty cool little setup. I'm happy with this. I think this is gonna be a fun little package. Let's check out this bad boy. A little bit of a different box, a little bigger. Popping this open here, same presentation. And boom, the card. So a 5.75 inch sheath, 2.125 inches in overall height, belt clip, Kydex sheath. Uh, the knife, so 8.625 overall inches, 4.125 inch blade, 4.5 inch handle. This, I believe, is a G10. Yep, G10 handle, 1.25 inch in height, jimping, and a lanyard hole. 9CR14 MOV for the blade steel. So getting into this here, we'll pull this out. All right, so getting this knife here. It's got some wrap on it. The toucan. All right. Actually, cool blade shape. I like that uh, drop point design. I did see this um, again at SHOT Show 2020. Uh, just kind of forgot a little bit about what it looked like. But yeah, very nice. Um, nice G10. Nicely sculpted. Bright orange liners. Has those scallops. Nice jimping on top. Uh, good overall profile. Flat grind. Perfect length handle. Index as well. That's gonna be nice. I like this blade. Um, and then here with the Kydex sheath, nice click, solid. I feel like I can trust that for vertical shoulder carry, which is exactly how I'd carry a knife like this on the trails. That dots lock there. So overall, just a nice quality package. I like this, looks good. Um, I would say on the finish, uh, probably considered to be a satin finish. Now the spine there, not too sharp, but could probably do some scraping. So there you go, the toucan from QSP. Really cool. And last but not least, here we have the Workaholic Premium N690 blade, Rafir Noble handle. This thing should be sweet. Popping this open, similar in terms of the presentation. Now this does have, oh cool. So not only is this the premium, but they also sent a set of the standard scale. So here a sort of, um, I mean, I'm not sure if it's a linen, seems like maybe a linen micarta, um, just natural, beautiful, nice, nice finish. Um, smells like leather, so probably from the sheath here. Um, but yeah, nice, nicely sculpted. I'll be interested in putting these on, seeing how they fit. Uh, but a bunch of other stuff in here. So there are some instructions. So a little instruction manual with some paracord. So this knife can have a paracord handle wrap, a key, 
star bit on both ends to help you get the scales off and that card so getting into the specs here this is a total length of 7.875 inches total height of 1.125 inches blade length of 3.5 50 inches in that bowler N690. The handle length 4.375 inches. Now again in that Rafir bronze black or Rafir noble I think is what they actually call it. And also like I mentioned came with those micarta scale so definitely cool. A leather sheath 6.5 inches overall. A dual belt loop and 2.125 inches in height. So as I get into this here um, definitely looking sweet now removing it here you'll see that package, beautiful. And as I mentioned, that belt loop. So it looks like you can carry this uh, scout style, um, but also vertical. So depending on how you like it, a reasonable sheath, um, you know, very straightforward, no frills sheath. Um, you know, seems to be a good serviceable sheath to get you moving. Now, uh, looking here, it's not the highest quality, but I'm hoping they're putting their money into the knife, to be honest with you. Um, and this sheath will definitely do, but looking at that handle, that is that Rafir Noble. And sliding this out also carefully. Okay, so protecting the knife, a little bit of wrap, that blade guard, ba boom. Wow, that is gorgeous. Now, again, I saw this at SHOT Show 2020. This knife is awesome, um, beautiful. Um, again, between a satin and a polished finish on the flat, full flat grind, nicely chamfered. Everything on here just very beautifully chamfered. Uh, again, the Rafir Noble handle, smooth grip, feels excellent. It's really, really a gorgeous look nice size i like how this indexes right away that feels just really good so what a beautiful little knife now again sliding it just back here into the sheath just being careful going in yep there we go um real simple pretty much no frills um very easy little package here man that is just a nice nice blade that thing is wonderful i'm looking forward to this one so, all right, guys, there you have it. A real quick first look and first impression of these QSP knives. Couple folders, few fixed blades. Wonderfully, wonderfully done overall. So, again, I'd like to say thank you very much to the people at QSP who have provided this for review, and specifically David from QSP, Blade Banter, and the Apex Pass Around. So, again, to wrap this up, the Puffin. The stash, the toucan, and the workaholic. And as mentioned, keep an eye out for a future video showing these knives in their own feature reviews. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.